Hello, I'm film historian Eric Grayson, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Technicolor sequence from Seven Chances. Technicolor had been making features since 1917. Their first feature was a movie called The Gulf Between, which is lost. And they went on to make The Toll of the Sea, which does survive, and The Wanderer of the Wasteland, and The Black Pirate, of course, with Douglas Fairbanks. Now, in most cases where we have good material on Technicolor from this period, it's because the negatives survive. Unfortunately, the negative on this scene from Seven Chances no longer survives, and so we have to use surviving prints. During this period, Technicolor was still very expensive. And so what would happen was that features would use little small sequences just to add a little spice to the film. You find these in a lot of 1920s silent pictures. One of them is the Brown Derby with Johnny Hines, but they're also in The King of Kings, Ben-Hur, and of course The Phantom of the Opera. When Seven Chances was made, Technicolor was still using a two-color camera that had a black and white strip of film recording one red and one bluish green image. These were then printed on two separate pieces of film and they were glued or cemented together. After a while, the glue and the cement would swell and it would become hard to focus and project the prints. Everyone really hated them at the time. They were not very popular, and it didn't get any better until Technicolor changed its formulation in 1928 to come up with a dye transfer method, which is what we remember Technicolor for today. This is made from the Library of Congress's print. That's the new Kino HD transfer. And you can see that the color is almost completely faded orange. Kino used a cutting edge base light color correction system and I had to hand align the colors on a frame by frame basis. Sometimes film preservation means that we have to combine the best elements from two prints. Here I took the sharp black and white part of the Library of Congress print and combined it with the color from the previous Kino edition. This kind of restoration couldn't have been done just a few years ago. It's not perfect. The red flares are nitrate decomposition that were in both prints. But this is the best color we've seen in Seven Chances since 1925. It's not colorized. This is the color that was in the original as closely as we can get it. It represents about 80 man hours of work for a sequence three minutes long. <laughs> ¶¶